So in the series of learning Python programming language, in previous video we have discussed like print function, we have discussed how to print something on console and one coding exercise related to that print function. This you have printed, I guess you got how to print this thing, right? Now see how you have printed these three lines in one print this line in double quotes in second print this line in third print this line you have used three print functions but rather than using three print functions we can do this we can uh, get this output with only one print function how using slash in right okay see now how to use that thing we'll print hello world three hello worlds in different uh, line hello world hello world hello world okay now how to print using one print function only print here we write just hello world slash n hello world again slash n and again hello world and double quote close so what output you will get this output you will get the slash n will add a new line okay so you don't need to write three print function now if i want to concatenate two string like i want to print this thing hello and after that my name jenny so the rather than writing hello jenny i i can print i can concatenate two strings basically my motto is to tell you how to concatenate strings in python so one string is this hello then you can use plus symbol and then second string is Jenny. This will print this output. No, actually it will not print this output. It will print this thing. Hello, Jenny with no space, no space. This plus will only concatenate these two strings. No space in between hello and Jenny. Okay, if you want to add space, how you can do? Just practice this. There can be three ways. Either you can put some after hello, you can put a space and then closing braces. Or second method is before J, you can put a space. You can add a space and then you can write Jenny. Third method is what you can do. Print the string plus. You can add a space then plus and Jenny. So now it will print hello with space Jenny. Hello Jenny with space in between. Right. So you have added the space also. The space also would be considered as a string. One string. This is two string, three string. So we are basically concatenating these strings using plus symbol. Very simple. Okay. But you have to take care. Means using of space as you know can be dangerous in Python. If suppose you add a space here, first you add a space or a tab and then you start writing print and hello and something like this. In that case, uh, you will get an error, indentation error. Okay, this is second type of error. One type of error we have discussed syntax error in a previous video. Uh, when you are not following the syntax or the rules of writing programs, then, you, then we get syntax error. Like if you forget to put here closing braces, this is syntax error. But that would not be syntax error if you add a space before these uh, writing, before start writing the code actually in Python, that will give indentation error, indentation error, okay. So now let's practice, I'll no, show you on my laptop how you get that error and how to, you know, print these things and all. So let's create a new file, right click on this first project, new then file and I'm going to name this uh, like string. manipulation okay dot p y fine so same see in print i just wanna print hello world with slash n and again hello world now let's run this okay if you uh, you can run like this right click on this and run string manipulation okay hello world hello world two times you get with slash n it will create a new line this backslash and slash uh, this n fine now i want to add two strings like hello 
then with plus and jenny let's run this and see here you will get hello jenny with no space if you want to add space what you can do you can add a space here either after hello or second method is before this writing j if i run this then you will get a space hello jenny or you can do both plus and one space then plus jenny okay now i'm adding a space space is an individual string so hello jenny you will get like this you can get concatenate strings now see if you add a space before this print before this print or i add a tag i have not i haven't started writing this code from the beginning of the line but i have added a tab and then i'm i have start writing now let's run this and see if you are getting correct output see it is giving an error indentation error but type of error is what not syntax error this time it is indentation error so this is also important you have to you know parallelly analyze this thing like uh, when you get indentation error or syntax error these kind of things so if you see here anywhere indentation error you come to know that you have added any uh, misplaced maybe indent or a space here also you can see a red underline is there before this p okay so if you hover the cursor over it it will show unexpected indent fine and in line number 1 here see in line number 1 before this print so we cannot add we cannot write down a code something like this you start be careful start writing code at the beginning of this line okay in python so now i guess uh, it's done for string manipulation that's all now i'll give you one assignment so i hope you got how to concatenate these strings and what is that indentation error now one exercise for you is you have to print this thing as it is i want this type of output okay in the previous video also we have done a coding exercise same thing okay you have to use print or it's not like that you have to use one print only it's fine you can use one print function for this second third fourth you can use four print function here but i want this output only same exact output string manipulation exercise second line string concatenation is done with plus sign in double quote plus sign for example print hello plus jenny new lines can be created with a backslash and n exact output i want on my screen okay so i guess you can do this thing if not you can just let me know in comment section maybe you can discuss this thing but i guess you have if you have done the previous exercise coding exercise you can do this thing it's very easy okay now from the next video we'll see input function what is input function in python so now i'll see in the next video till then bye bye take care okay one more thing i'm going to add notes of this class in the description box of this video you can go and check out okay